first area, like I said, I would call it rethinking ingrained habits. And over the past what, three to five years, I would say, we're getting more and more what we call subscription services, where you pay for something once a year, or more likely now you pay for something once a month. Every month you come up, it hits your credit card automatically, and you pay your credit card and you're paying for the service. Um, typically, most of these services once a year, they quote unquote renew and um, renew uh, basically means they're going to raise your rates uh, when they renew. Uh, and so the first thing is you need to notice what they're doing. You need to pay a little bit of attention to your credit card or know approximately when they're going to renew and when they're probably going to raise the rate. And, you know, a lot of these services, you may only be paying, you know, five to $15 per month. But then again, if they raise it by $5 a month, that's a, a substantial amount. Um, and you think of that, if, if just one of these services raises it by $5 a month, that's $60 for the full year. And if you have three or four of these services and they each raise it by $5, that's a substantial amount you're paying more this year than last year. So what I'm going to propose is that number one, you keep an eye on when things renew, when prices go up. And if you're already an existing customer, which you would be if for a renewal, um, I would propose that you contact the company and see if you can't get them to reduce the rate back to what it was the prior year. Now, if, if you tried to do this three or four or five years ago with some companies, they made it very difficult for you. Um, they would put you on hold for long periods of time. They would transfer you from person to person because they did not want to necessarily help you. However, this little thing out there called social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, and all that, now the companies understand that we as consumers have a lot of power to with just a few words, say something that might affect their business uh, somewhat. So I have done this, and I'll go into examples in a couple of minutes. I have done this at least five or six times this year, um, calling up vendors, and I have had success in every case, reducing it back to the price that I had the last year. And some of them have done this over and over again for three or four years in a row. Um, to keep bringing it to the price where I initially agreed to pay. So some examples are, you know, satellite radio, uh, maybe some newspaper subscriptions, um, your internet service. Um, those are some of the things I've done. We just, um, we're a little bit old fashioned here in our household. My, my wife loves to still get the newspaper. Um, I get an electronic uh, version of another paper, but she likes to get the paper and, um, I'll give you a perfect example. Last week, we got a renewal notice in the mail, and it was for eight weeks, and the weekly charge went up about $3 a week in how much the newspaper was going to be. So I called them up, talked to them, and I didn't want to do this every eight weeks because now they used to give you longer uh, subscription times. Now they're down to every eight weeks. Um, so they, it just makes it more difficult. So first I got them back down to the same rate we have been paying for quite some time. And then secondly, I asked to make this for a longer period of time. In other words, I'm willing to pay them more money up front but a lower cost per week. And they agreed to it. So how long you wanna do it for? I said, I'd like to do it for 26 weeks for half a year. They said, fine, I'm recording it on your records here. We agreed on the price. Conversation took less than five minutes. It was very pleasant. I didn't get transferred around and off we go. They're happy to keep me as a customer. I'm happy because my rate or our rate has not gone up. Um, so, like I said, that just happened last week. Done it with satellite radio, done it with my online uh, subscription I have for newspapers, um, done it with a friend's internet service uh, for him. Um, so in all these processes are very pleasant, very polite, and very short. So I just wanna encourage you, um, if you get something like this, to not be afraid to make a phone call 
And if you've done it in the past and it was a difficult phone call, I can all but assure you that nowadays the phone calls are a lot more pleasant, a lot easier, a lot more polite, and a lot shorter. So has anybody done anything like this? They want to talk about it, share it with others? Yes, Tashila. Uh, yes, I, I tried this with my newspaper. That's a luxury. I really love the printed version. And uh, they didn't back down very much at all. But then I kept it because I, I do like reading the paper. But what do you think about third party uh, billing for a newspaper. I went and looked at some, but they still didn't give any kind of substantial discount. And then I thought, you know, how reliable are they going to be? Oh. Yeah, I think if you're primarily dealing directly with the vendor, I think you need to continue to deal with the vendor. Um, you know, I haven't had to do this myself. And like you say, you love the paper. You know, my wife loves reading the hard copy of the paper also. So I understand that. Um, you know, I know with my satellite radio, but I was willing to do it because I don't drive very much anymore. When I was, when I was working full time, I drove a lot. And then between the pandemic and the fact that I'm not, you know, don't have a, a full time job, I don't use my car nearly as much as I did before. And so I was real, I was legitimately willing to end the satellite radio subscription if I wanted to. So since I was, I basically told them, you know, because they were they were him and hauling just a little bit. They were they were trying to reduce the price halfway between what they gave me before. And I said, you know, I really think I want the same price. I'm not using your service as much anymore. I don't necessarily need the service. I didn't tell them I was gonna cancel. I said I don't need the service. I'm not using it as much. It's not as valuable to me now. And you know, they got where I was going with that. So you know, sometimes you have to be a little creative. I always approach it very positively and say, you know, I like your service. Um, however, I was paying this amount before. I think that's a fair amount. And um, that's what um, I would like to get us back to so I can feel comfortable um, with continuing continue with your service. I never want to threaten to stop it, especially if I don't want to, and like you with the paper, but just, you know, I use some kind of words this way. I will be happy. I'll be happy to continue your service, you know, using some, some language that um, has them understand that I might make some other choices they don't reduce it so you know maybe just maybe practice your pitch a little bit next time uh, for, <laughs> before you do it uh, so you feel comfortable if it's you know some people don't like to do this i understand that um i'm i'm not uncomfortable asking for it i used to be but i found out how successful it was uh now i i you know i don't have any hesitation in doing it so um you know, maybe like I said, you just practice a little bit so you feel a little more comfortable. 